Have you ever wondered why the characters would feel light on man's planet in Interstellar? Well, that's because of the low gravity on man's planet. Then how would you calculate the acceleration of gravity with the known mass and radius? Today, we're going to learn how to calculate the acceleration of gravity on a planet. First, recall the universal law of gravitation. F equals G times M1 times M2 divided by R squared. The gravitational force between two objects with mass M1 and M2 is F. And R is the distance between the center of mass M1 and M2. Now, imagine you on a planet with mass 1 and you are mass 2. The force exerted by the planet on you would be the weight force. This would be equal to the gravitational force, which is attracting you and the planet together. The radius would be from your uh, height to the planet's center. Recall Newton's second law, F equals to ma. Then if the gravitational force would be F equals G times M1 times M2 divided by R squared, then MA would equal to G times M1 times M2 divided by R squared. If you then divide both sides by M2, you get the acceleration of gravity on the planet. Search for the mass and radius of the planet. When you search the basic information about the planet, you'll find that usually the radius of the planet would be given in miles. To convert it into meters, multiply the number in miles by 1600. Then you get the radius of the planet in meters. After that, put your mass, which is m1, and radius of the planet into the formula a equals g times m1 divided by r squared. Use your calculator to calculate the acceleration of gravity on the planet, and now you get the answer. This acceleration I calculated is the acceleration of gravity on Mars.